Hello everyone and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Puckersay and today we are going to be using AI and chat GPT to be exact to be making horse tax sets. I am going to go ahead and assume this is pretty self-explanatory but if you are a little confused I will be going on to a website called chat GPT which is an AI website that basically can do a ton of different things, hold a conversation, give you answers to questions, all that type of stuff, but I'm going to be using it to make a tax set in Wild Horse Islands. I have done this once before. I will have a link to it on a card up below somewhere, you know, could be up here, could be up here. It'll be somewhere. And if you want to go check that out first, you can go ahead and do that, or you can check it out after if you like to. With all that being said, let's go ahead and get into this. So there is a horse right off the bat I know I want to do because he's been in my inventory forever, and that is Craig. Now, Craig is this horse that I've had for quite a while now. He's a Dapple Palomino Clydesdale uh, V1, which is super duper cool by himself. And the name Craig is actually from a past video that is kind of old now, I'm not going to lie, but it is from me having strangers name my horses. And Craig here, Craig got his name from that. So yeah, here he is. And he's been in my inventory forever and I've really wanted to give him a name, but I haven't. I've been debating also changing his uh, hair, but I kind of want to leave it because I feel like that just adds to his Craigness. I don't know. Alright, let's go ahead and hop over to the website and then we can go ahead and start asking it questions of what it thinks Craig here should be wearing. So I did not realize this until a minute ago, but you can actually add files now. So I'm going to upload a photo of Craig and kind of introduce Craig and see what, what colors he thinks Craig would go with. Alrighty, here is our ask here is our question. We have the little photo I took and I said this is Craig the horse. Craig needs a new tax with colors and accessories what colors would go well with him and we will go ahead and see what it says oh wow i did not expect it to craig is a beautiful palomino with light cream coat and white markings for a tax set that complements his coloring here are some suggestions how i was i'm impressed i think i was impressed last time i did this as well but i'm very kind of impressed and kind of creeped out of how well it's able to like identify things navy blue and gold burgundy and cream, forest green and brown, teal and silver, soft pink and white. You could add matching accessories like leg wraps, a fly bonnet, or a breastplate to complete the look. Okay, here we go. So I said choose one out of the five sets of colors you just said that you think would look best. The navy blue and gold would look best on Craig. A regal and stylish. Okay, Craig. Let's go. All right, let me go ahead and write that down actually because I will 100% for that. Alrighty, that is going to be our main color scheme. However, I do think I'm gonna see if he will pick one more color when it comes to accessories maybe to add. Now we need to ask him what discipline he thinks, whether it should be English or Western. I'm just gonna ask what discipline and see if he knows what it is, what I'm talking about. There we go, let's see. Dressage, okay interesting craig is shaping up to be one fancy horse whites oh wait he even said a padded bridle oh, wow okay a white saddle pad okay you know what we can do that he did say white saddle pad so i guess that's our third color and i guess i'll ask him should craig have some accessories yes he should we will do leg wraps wait oh okay uh so we'll go ahead and kind of like puts in some options because I doubt he's going to know all of the like weird things we have in Wild Horse Islands because they're not very realistic. So let's go ahead and go back, finish up what we have so far, and we can come back and add accessories as the last touch. Alrighty, we are back here with Mr. Craig himself and we are going to go ahead and start crafting his little stuff. So I did already buy the materials, luckily, so we should just be able to come in here and I know it did say gold, but in this game, gold doesn't look very shiny or bright. So I'm using topaz kind of to give it a bit more of a gold feel. And then we're going to do this dark blue. That looks actually really cool. I'm excited to see how this is going to look. We'll go for the navy and the topaz. Ooh, it looks, it looks cool. Okay, so there's the saddle, and then we'll grab the bridle as well. Oh my gosh, he looks so cool! I love how 
the bridles look, especially the fancier ones on the V1 Clydesdales. All right, and then he did say a white dressage saddle pad, which means I'm going to do white polo wraps too. I know that's not exactly what he said, but I am going to match, you know, kind of what he's doing. Oh my gosh, he looks so cute. It, why is it so dark in here? Do I need to like take out these trees or something? There we go, that looks better. Now you can really get a good look. So this is what we're working with so far, honestly. I think it's pretty good. He looks he looks very cute. And I love that his hair, even though I didn't do it for this video, kind of fits. Like, I don't think we even need to ask for hair because he already looks so fancy. For accessories, I think I'm going to ask him if he should have, like, oh, uh, uh, we'll just, like, okay. I'll choose a couple and then he can choose from there just to make it easier. I'll ask him, you know what? Okay all over the place i'm sorry y'all i'm all over the place today we're going to ask him if he should do a head accessory and then a tail accessory also and he could say yes or no to either of those and so that way we can go from there so since the chat already did say that we should have some accessories to enhance craig's overall look i'm going to go ahead and ask him about the tail ribbons or just tail accessories in general and then we'll ask about the main ones as well to see if he even wants craig to have main ones all all right, let's go ahead and ask, should Craig have a tail ribbon or something else? Oh, okay, yeah, here we go. So let's go ahead and ask, navy blue or gold? Navy blue, okay. Oh, it looks cute. All right, let's go ahead and ask if he should have a head accessory of some sort. Should Craig have a head accessory? Oh, here we go, yes. Oh yeah, and then he's going through all these. I'm gonna ask him if he would like a flower crown, a head star, no, just a couple different options. All right, here we have our question, a flower crown, a star-shaped pin, which is just the head star, or a head bow. Let's see what he says. Oh, a star-shaped pin, nice. Okay, and I think that's actually in gold, which will look really good, I think. So let's go ahead and go do that. Yep, here is the head star in topaz. Oh my gosh, Craig looks so good. So I have a accessory I've been saving for one of my horses and I think it'd go really well with what Craig looks like right now. So I'm gonna ask him if it'd be okay if I add an accessory for Craig to carry in his mouth. I don't think he knows what to do. Oh, here we go. Oh, these are cute ideas, but I already have one. Alrighty, we will head over and then I will do the final shots for you guys to see what he looks like and that the final accessory will be a surprise for you guys to see. Here is how Craig turned out. I'm really, really happy with how he looks. I'm impressed of how well the chat did with this tag set. I mean, it just, it looks so cute. And this is the accessory I chose for his mouth. It's a little magician's wand because this whole outfit, I don't know why, it was reminding me of like the greatest showman or something. But yeah, I really hope you guys like how he turned out. And let's go ahead and move on to the second horse. Alrighty, I know that we just did a bigger horse, but this is a new breed added not too long ago. And this is the Shire breed. Uh, and this little girl really needs a tax set. This is a legacy coat that I crossbred myself. And I just think she looks really cute. And I think she deserves a good tax set since she is a very light color, similar to the Palomino we got for Craig. I'm really hoping we're gonna get something different. But even if we don't, I think it'll look very good. And she also doesn't have a name. So we'll have to ask him first off what he thinks her name should be. For the picture I'm going to take to send over to the chat, I'm actually going to get into some shadows to kind of be able to see her markings a little bit more. Like that. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and ask what colors would best suit Aurora. Oh, here we go. Gold and yellow. Okay. White and cream, light blue and or mint green. Deep red or burgundy, silver or gray. All right, choose one of the five color combinations. All right, let's see what he chooses. Gold and yellow. That's interesting. That's going to be kind of hard to put together. I was, I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of hoping for purple. So unless we get purple for like an additional color, I'm not quite sure if we're gonna get it. But gold and yellow, I will write that down. I'm sure we can make that work, I have an idea. So sadly, my recording just cut out. But we cut out right here. So as you guys can see, the next thing I asked was what should the accent color be? And they said white or cream. 
but because of how often in chat the white saddle pad and accent colors for the leg wraps come up into white or cream, I was looking for more of a actual bright color of some sort. So I asked what other colors and then have it choose one of the four it gave me and it chose light blue. We ignore the silver accents because it already told us gold. And then I asked what discipline and it said dressage, hunter jumper, eventing, or western pleasure. Not gonna lie, I was kind of hoping for the western pleasure because I ride western in real life, but it then chose dressage. <laughs> We're not going to do dressage because we just did it in Craig's and I don't want this video to become repetitive since we already have the gold coming back. So I chose it to choose a different one and it chose Hunter Jumper. And that is where we are now so now we can head over and actually make the tax set. Alrighty guys, here we are back with Miss Aurora and we're going to go ahead and craft her stuff. Now we don't have a Hunter Saddle in wild horse island so we're just gonna go for the jumping and i'm thinking pastel yellow with the topaz it's gonna be an interesting combination Alrighty, and now we're going to craft the bridle yes i did just had to cut the video and spend 30 minutes looking for more pastel yellow flowers no i don't want to talk about it <laughs> let's go ahead and put the gear on her Oh my gosh, I don't know why, but from the shires, you can see the girth, and it just looks so good. I'm so happy that they have the girth now. I mean, it, it looks amazing. For the accent color, they did choose light blue, so we're going to go ahead and craft that as well. I think I'm going to do an icy blue, actually. Yeah, that looks, that looks good, actually. Awesome, so here's her attack set so far. Now let's go ahead and go ask about accessories. We have this tail ribbon in baby blue, which is really cute. What else do we have? This tulip. This might look cute potentially. So, all right, and then depending on what he chooses, we can talk about colors. A tail bow, okay, I'm not gonna lie. I was kind of hoping for the flower, but I'm okay with that. So I think we have to ask uh, blue or yellow blue okay nice oh it looks cute all right nice should she have head accessories yes okay so let's see we have the sunglasses that are kind of fun we have i swore i had a face oh here we go a face flower or like a rose crown all right what are we gonna get a flower crown okay not bad i honestly think she looks really cute and you know what I might just go rogue and add these anywhere. <laughs> I feel like they fit really well for this and I don't know. I think she looks cool. So even though she didn't say it, this is the one time I'll go rogue in this video, okay? I get I get one free pass. That's how it works. I make the rules. <laughs> All right. So I just asked how should I do her mane and they said braided, pulled back, natural and flowy. Uh, decorated, we won't count that if he chooses that. The braided! Okay, very nice. How should I do her tail? Okay, so we're going for braid. Alright, I am into this. I think this could look really cute. Uh, so let's do long braids. And then we'll do a braided tail. Let's see. Oh, it does look cute. Hold on, I, I hate the lighting sometimes in this game. <laughs> like, I feel like it just really uh, does not help very much. Here, let's come over here. All right, guys, so here she is finished. I really hope you guys like how she turned out. I am really happy with her. I think she turned out pretty cute. Alrighty, everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed, feel free to leave a comment and a like down below. Let me know which one of the two horses I made today was your guys' personal favorite. I would love to know your thoughts. With all that being said, leave any video ideas you have in the comments because I'll be sure to credit you if I end up using your idea. I hope you guys have an amazing day or night and I hope to see you guys really soon. Goodbye! Alrighty, everybody. <laughs> I just died.